everyone. Welcome to episode 27 of the Airy Knits podcast. My name is Ariel and today it is Saturday, April 22nd and I have quite a few things to share. I do have acquisitions to share in today's video as well because I did get in my order from a yarn pre-order collection so that's going to be pretty exciting and yeah I also have some whips so I'll first start off how I always do with what I am wearing today and this is a finished object from last week but I am wearing it today so I can show you how it looks and this is the test knit for the Uptown Tee by Tori Yu, Tori Knits NYC on Instagram and I use Explorer Knits Denali Sock in the colorway Extra Sprinkles for this tee so I'll stand up and show you now so this is how it looks on me and yeah, I think the most fun part are the sleeves for this one because it's an all over lace on the sleeves and so that's really fun. I love the drape on this and there's a good amount of room for me. I made size one and I used US four needles and I believe that that was the same recommended needle size and I was able to get gauge. So yeah, I really like the fit. I think it's just in time for hopefully warmer weather soon. I say hopefully, but also I like cold weather to still wear all of my long sleeve sweaters. But yeah, it's the perfect tee so that when it does get warmer, then it's something that I can grab that I knit. So it's really great. I really like the shape of the neckline for this tee because it is round and I do like that. And I also like that it's not really close up towards my neck, like it's a little bit lower. So yeah, I'm actually really, really liking that. And so yeah, so that is the Uptown Tea. I think the test knit is going to be done soon. I don't recall if there is a release date yet for the pattern, but it should be um, pretty soon. So keep an eye out for this pattern. It's going to be, I think, yeah, the perfect kind of knit for spring and summer. Okay, so I do have one finished object. I didn't block it yet because I've just been wearing it ever since I finished it pretty much every day this week and so it yeah it's not blocked so it still looks a little scrunched up but these are my almost argyle socks by Emily Curtis and I finally finished it so let me I'm gonna try and make them a bit more flat so I can show it to you let me just smooth them down here okay hopefully that's a little bit better yeah, so these are the socks. They're both finished. I used for yarn, it's also exploring it. The Nolly sock, I used a sock, a sock set for this. So the main color here is Fia and the contrast color is Woodruff. And they look really cute together. I do love the colorway Fia. So these, these are just like the perfect, I think, color combos. The pattern was so great. It was so quick to work up, I think because, like I've said in like the other past two videos, that like the the pattern, the stitch pattern for this is just like so, it's enough interest to kind of like keep you going, but it's not something as like hard or takes as long as lace socks, which I do still like lace socks and I do like making them but this was something that was really nice to kind of get me back into sock knitting this year because these are my first knitted socks of 2023. So I thought these were great. I made the size 8 inch circumference and I used US 1 needles. Is size 8 inch circumference right? I think so, yeah. Okay. Is that right? That's what I put in my notes, but anyway, I, I knit the smallest size in the pattern and I used US1 needles. Yeah, and I when I say that I have been wearing these for like every day this week, it really was. I was wearing these every day this week. So great pattern. I will make these socks again in the future. So yeah, I can, I have a very nice sock pattern that I can kind of just go to when I have sock sets to use. So that makes me really happy. Yeah, Almost Argyle Socks by Emily Curtis. Okay, that is my one finished object for this week. And then I do have lots of works in progress and a new cast on as well. 
So let me start first with an update on one of my test nets. Speaking of Emily Curtis again, so I am doing the test net of the color tip T and last time I mentioned I was working on the sleeve and I was like almost done with it and then since then there has been a revision on the sleeves which I think was a great revision. The sleeves were just a little big and so it was kind of fixed in the new version of the pattern and so I redid the sleeves. I actually did finish knitting both sleeves before the revision happened which is definitely just like I was too excited about just having the sleeves finished and I did notice they were a little big but I just yeah, so then I kind of like left it and then the revision, the notes on the revisions kind of came out quickly after that. So I did finish re-knitting the sleeves so that I can show you today. And it looks so much better and it looks so cute. Yeah, so this time I, so I went for pink for the neck band and I went for green for both of the sleeves and I think that looks really cute. I do like pink and green as a color combination, so I thought having the sleeves and the neckband, since they're somewhat close, like that looks really cute. And as far as yarn, so the main color, I am using Lavender Fiber Co. in the Ritzy Sock Base in the colorway Nimbus, which now that it's more worked up, I think it's a lot easier to see what that colorway looks like. And so it's kind of like a light yellow, main base for the colors and there's just like pastel pinks and blues and I feel like there's also some green but maybe that's just because with the green cuff I feel like I see I'm seeing pastel green for some reason but it's definitely like pink and blues for sure for the variegation on that main color yeah so it looks really cute I did do a little try on for this and it's fitting so well. I am knitting the size two and I got gauge with US3 needles, which I believe is the recommended needle size as well. So that's great. And there is an ant on my computer. So I'm just going to hold on. Ugh, okay. Just have to move that away. Okay. Okay, sorry, that ant was distracting. Okay, so yeah, color tip T. So now I'm just working on the body and just kind of like keep going. And so that's been a really nice knit when I just want to have some stock in it. Knitting in the round to work on. And I can't wait to get to the hem because I will be planning on making the hem a light blue color. Oh, and as far as like the contrast colors for all of like the edgings on this T, I am using Sorella yarn, the summer tonals. And yeah, because I bought a mini set of the summer tonals. So I'm just using four of the colors from there. So yeah, so that is what I have so far and I'm really excited about it. I really want to make more of these. Like I, yeah, I'm looking through my stash and I'm trying to figure out what other color combinations I can make for this tee because I think it's also gonna be a really great staple kind of piece to have. And when you can make like multiples of it and in different colors, it'll be kind of great for all kinds of like seasons and different, I guess, colors, color vibes that you wanna go with for whatever you're feeling for that day. So yeah, color tip tee. So this has been going really well and then Let's see, next I have been working a little bit more on my birch pullover. So last time, last episode, I showed that I finished an, an entire sleeve for this in a week and I was kind of hoping I could finish the second sleeve this week, but I did get a little distracted by some other knits to work on this week, which is totally fine. But I did, I think I got about half of the second sleeve done this week, so I can show you that. So here it is. So yeah, last time I got finished the left sleeve, and then this week, I think I'm about halfway. Yeah, I'm about halfway done with the second sleeve. 
this has also still been like a great knit. Like I don't feel like I don't feel like it's been like a burden to make this one, which I know I I still have the body to go, which is going to be a lot of knitting, but the sleeves feel like they're going by pretty fast. So I am hoping at least this week I should be able to finish this skein, which I think is my second skein of yarn. So I'm, I won't be able to finish the sleeve, I think, but yeah, I would like to at least, at the very least this coming week to just finish up this skein and to just connect with my new skein. So that is kind of like my goal for this coming week. And then maybe to finish this sleeve this coming week and then to get started back on the body because that's going to take a lot more time, I think. But yeah, more progress done on this and that makes me really happy. I am hoping that I can finish this while it's still cool enough to wear, which I know I keep saying, but it is just kind of a thing that I'm feeling is just like I want to make sure I can knit sweaters and then wear them because it would make me really sad to finish a sweater and have to wait until like when does it start to get cooler here like maybe August September October Ooh, but yeah so birch pullover I am just really enjoying this knit so far and I'm loving the texture and the yarn and then just to recap, so the yarn I am using for this is Woolberry in the Berry Natural Base. In the colorway, I smell snow. And I am using US 1.5 needles, and I am knitting size 1. Yeah, I also did a try-on of this so far, and feels great. And I was worried it was going to be a little small, but I think for sure, because the stitch pattern is half fisherman's rib, that it'll... Kind of grow or stretch a little more so it feels fine how it is right now so yeah and the sleeve length is, is also great if I can move a little more to the side yeah so so far everything has been going well with this and then I have also been working a little bit more on my lo-fi shawl so I can show you some progress here so again, this is the lo-fi shawl that I've been working on for some time now, and it's just been like my go-to relaxing knits. So yeah, I've just been making progress pretty much every week on this. And the pattern is by Bridget BZB Knits on Instagram. And I am in the middle of a row right now, so that's why I can't kind of like show it all flat. So sorry about that, but it is very long now as you can see. And I started, I finished up the, this garter section. I think I was maybe halfway done last time I showed this and now I started onto this kind of ribbed garter section again. So yeah, we are almost there. And I'm thinking that I still have my, my Big Cozy Cardi by Andrea Maori to work on but I'm thinking because that is also going to be like a really it's a really large knit I would like and I also there's some shawls that I want to cast on soon just because I've been very much into a shawl knitting kind of phase this year so I think that I am going to try and finish this like if I work on a shawl or the like instead of working on the big cozy cardi at the same time of this I am going to try my best to finish this because I'm really almost done with this so I'm gonna try and finish this as soon as possible so that I can focus on my other bigger projects after But yeah again this has been a really enjoyable knit and so I'm just kind of enjoying the whole process and again the yarn I'm using for this is Woolberry Fiber Co in the Berry Natural Base I've really been enjoying using the Berry Natural Base and Oh, and it's the fingering weight version of the yarn and it's this is in the colorway hello autumn and I am going to knit size 2 which is the bigger size in the pattern and if I go beyond the number of pattern repeats I'm gonna try and finish as much of my skein as possible because I 
want to try and not have any leftovers, so I'll just like keep going until I am done. But yeah, I think maybe this might be a little over halfway. Still left to go of this game, so. Still, still got some more knitting to do on this, but this has been really fun to knit on. I was knitting on it earlier this morning, so yeah. So this is the lo-fi shawl, and I am using US2 needles on this, if I didn't already mention that. Okay, and then my new cast on, my new cast on this week is a really fun one. I think if you watched last week's video, you can probably predict what I cast it on. It is another sock, and I have one side finished. I did not weave in the end, so that was kind of... <laughs> Okay, so this is, I've, so let me first start with the yarn because this was, this is the whole, the yarn is the whole thing for this sock. So I bought my first self-striping sock yarn from Tiny Human Knits and it's this color or this, yeah, the sock color is from the Lord of the Rings collection and it's called Potatoes, which I thought was really cute. And I never really, I wouldn't call myself like a green color kind of person, but I actually really like how these colors look together in stripes. And so bought the sock set and I finished one sock in two days. I started it, I started this one on Thursday after work and then I finished it Friday after work. So, so yeah, and then the way that I am making this sock, so I the pattern I am using is the Thursday Socks by Sarah Opie, s.knits on Instagram, and it is a toe-up sock, and it does have a heel gusset, is that what, or a heel flap and gusset, which I think is really fun and so interesting on how this is worked from kind of toe up instead of the normal or the way that I've kind of always or the how I mostly knit socks is from the cuff down. So I think it's just so interesting how it's done toe up. And the reason why I wanted to make this one with a toe up sock pattern is because I am I did buy the 100 gram skein like the full skein of the self striping yarn because I wasn't thinking, I just, I think because other like non self striping yarn, like hand dyed yarn, when they sell sock sets, it's a hundred gram skein with a mini skein. So I just thought, yeah, hundred gram skein, but I didn't really realize that she sold it in 50 gram skeins as well. And when I knit my socks, I only use like at the most 50 grams. And so I really, could have just bought the 50 gram skein, but I bought the 100 gram. And so I don't want the half of it to go to waste. And so I am planning on making matching socks for me and my boyfriend. And since I've never made him socks before, I don't know how much yarn I'm going to use to make those socks. And so I think it's easier to like stop knitting when you reach a certain point when you do toe up because you'll have to, the, the main part where you can really, because you, the sock will have to be the same like foot size pretty much for whichever method you use, but the part where you can adjust how much yarn you use is the leg part. Like you can make it shorter if you run out or longer if you have more yarn. So by doing toe up, I feel like I can make sure that I'm making matching socks and not run out of yarn. I think that strategy makes sense so I'm hoping that it'll work out but yeah so I think these colors look really cute together and also since this is my first self striping yarn I really enjoyed it and it's definitely it definitely makes knitting stock in it it makes knitting stock in it or if it makes making vanilla socks so just plain stock in it knitting a lot more enjoyable because you can kind of just look forward to the next stripe color as you're knitting and so that has been really fun and I think my next challenge or just to see how it works out is I want to try my best to make the second side of this sock 
the same colors, like where the toe has this much yellow, like it starts with yellow and then, you know, I just want it to look identical as far as where the stripe colors are. But even if it doesn't and it's a little off, that'll be okay. But yeah, I'm just curious to see how that's gonna kind of work out. But yeah, and then I decided to, since I want to try and since I'm going to be making two pairs of socks with this yarn, or at least trying to, I want to make sure that the mini skein, I think, should be able to make four heels. I hope. I have no idea. So I'm hoping to, yeah, as long as I just use it for the heel, I'm hoping that it'll be able to make four socks. Otherwise, I think I would have done the cuff and or toe with the solid contrast color. So we'll see. And then since I enjoyed knitting this sock so much in the past two days, I just in time saw that that Tiny Human Knits had another, I don't know if restock is the right word, but she had on sale again the, I should have wrote down in my notes what it was, but it was like the winter color sock set. It's like blue. It's mostly kind of blue colors. And it was actually that skein that I first saw probably on Instagram or some YouTuber might have mentioned it. And that's when I first heard about her self-striping yarn. And when I went to look for it at the time, she sold out. And so I just kind of kept an eye on her Instagram and her Etsy store to see when she would come out with a colorway that I really liked. And when this came out, I was like, yeah, I, I mean, I've really been wanting to try self-striping yarn. And this is probably, again, not really my color palette, but it, I do like it enough to have wanted to buy the yarn. And also the fact that it was called Potatoes and it was Lord of the Rings just also was kind of a great, just made me want to buy it. So, so yeah, again, love these colors, but I am really happy to be getting kind of that blue colored sock as well. So yeah, and that one, I think she only had 50 gram skeins in this shop, but that was also my plan at the time to buy that as well. So I have more self-striping yarn socks in my future to make. So yeah, this has kind of been what has taken up most of my knitting. Well, I guess Thursday and Friday this week, this past week. So that has been really fun. And then let's see. Oh, and as far as like size, so I am knitting size three in the pattern for this and I'm using US1 needles. And it's interesting though, because the gauge that it asks for in the pattern is a lot smaller than I can get with my US1 needles. And I don't have anything smaller than US1 needles. So maybe at some point I should try and experiment knitting socks with smaller, excuse me, so, uh, smaller needles. But at the moment I've been, when I started knitting socks, I was using US1 needles in a wooden small circular needles and then I just found out I don't like working with small circular needles because they just like were cramping up my hands and my fingers. And then for some reason I got US one and a half. It might've been on accident, but then I started knitting my socks in US one and a half. And then recently I realized it was US one and a half and not one. So then I got actual US one needles to make my socks and I've been liking the, liking the fit and liking the fabric that it makes. And so I'm just gonna keep going with that for now. I think sizing wise, when I measured my foot, if I made gauge with this pattern, I should have made a size four, but the size three, I looked at how many stitches is around in circumference because anything more than 60 stitches for me on US1 with whatever gauge I make is too big, it's just a little loose. And so I just went with, I believe this is 56 stitches in the circumference. So yeah, so that's been going well. I guess once I finish the other one, block it and start wearing it, we'll see kind of like after multiple wears how that stitch count works for me. So yeah, I've made so many socks at this point, but I'm still trying to figure out what is my favorite needle size and, and number of stitches 
in circumference that I like. So still experimenting, but I think we're getting close. Yeah, okay. So that is it for my works in progress this week. I think that it was not like a whole bunch of works in progress, but I've made a lot of progress on my current one. So that's been really nice. So next on to acquisitions for this week. And there's kind of a lot of yarn. There's not that much yarn, but there's there's a there's a good amount of yarn. Okay, so the first one I will start with is well I guess I'll start with the smaller, the one that's not part of the collection that the pre-order collection. So I did get my Woolberry, my Woolberry order from the so I am planning I have yeah for this year to buy skeins at least one skein from every Woolberry Rewind color so that's one the Rewind collection is like one color every month this year and last month or I don't know, some previous month the colorway was Nook and I never bought Nook in the past I don't know if I knew about Woolberry when Nook was available and actually also it's not really a colorway I would normally buy so but I saw a lot of pictures of the colorway when she was kind of like you know promoting the rewinds for it and so I decided to get two skeins of the fingering weight which is the berry merino base and it looks so nice like and also in the light, actually, yeah, in the light, it looks really, really nice. I think when I first opened it, I opened it in like, in my room, which doesn't have a window. And so it looked a lot darker than I was expecting. But in the light, it looks a lot more kind of like a glowing green color. And yeah, I kind of feel like lately, I've been going through like a green Phase possibly because yeah like these socks are like a green color and then also in my the collection pre-order there's also a lot of greens in there which is very interesting but yeah so this is just a very green like a glowing green I feel like is there some blue in here as well definitely leans green though but also if I'm wrong with that and it's more of a blue just let me know also but yeah two skeins of this I will probably I usually I don't have a pattern in mind right now but two skeins of fingering will usually make me some kind of top so like I could make this the uptown tee the uptown tee took maybe I didn't weigh my skeins yet for yardage but I think it was one and a half it was less than two so you know I could make some kind of tee or a tank top with two skeins of fingering so yeah so that is Nook and then I will share with you what I got from Big Little Yarn Co the Yokai Monsters collection and yeah this was I think the first time I have bought something from a Big Little Yarn Co pre-order because I think by the time I kind of heard of her yarn and I started watching her podcast, I think by that time she was on or almost going to go on maternity leave and so she might have had some like in stock updates that I just, I was a little too stressed out to shop in stock updates because I feel like they probably go by fast but, and there were no pre-orders, I think. So I've just been patiently waiting for her next pre-order collection to come out. And so Yokai Monsters was one that I was looking at and I got some yarn and I tried some new bases. So that's also really fun. And so I can just start showing you the colors that I got. So we'll start with, let's start with, hmm maybe the color that might be the most predictable that I got from this collection. Okay, so I got the colorway Nudikabe in the Surrey Silk Lace Base. And I bought, I bought four skeins, but I'm only holding up two because I think, 
I like holding up two when I'm showing like yarn that I bought so anyway so this is this color and I think it's predictable that I got this because it is like pastel -y pink and blue and I just really like kind of how that looks and I just I don't know this looks really great on Surrey and so maybe a cumulus blouse maybe something else but if there's a Surrey color that I like I basically just buy the number of skeins that it'll take for me to make a cumulus blouse so that if I do end up using it for something else it's fine and if not then I know that I can at least make a cumulus blouse with it so that is this and then I also got the same colorway in a different base this is a new base to me so I got the organic wool linen fingering base and I am I'm very interested to see how this feels knitting with and also a finished object with it so and then also I can just I'll hold up both of these they're the same colorway but of course they'll show up differently on different bases so this is the Surrey silk Surrey lace and then this is the organic wool linen fingering and I think it shows up a bit more not as bright in this one but I think that's as expected for the base and as far as like the content so it is 70% organic wool 30% linen three ply and it's fingering weight and I didn't even realize the yardage on this it's 506 yards for 100 grams so that's like a lot so yeah again I'm just really curious to see how this feels knitted also it just feels definitely feels is rustic the right word like it's not smooth and soft but it feels like it'll be I don't know I don't know if I have knitted with linen yet so it could just this is like the linen feel where it just feels kind of hard and like plant like maybe so kind of like straw <laughs> but that could also be a wrong description that I'm making up but I think it'll be an interesting base to work with and to make probably some kind of like tea with as well since linen should be I think like a nice drape and something that is like hot weather something yeah that you can wear in hot weather so yeah so I did get these and then let's see in the same organic wool linen base I got a different colorway this one also I think is probably very me kind of color this is Yosuzume and it's a purple variegated color with some like yeah dark purple and some kind of maroon but more purple kind of bits in there so I think that looks really nice as well I almost got this colorway in the Surrey base as well and I had to just stop myself I really really needed to just like limit myself on how much cumulus blouses I could make and I haven't made one in a while so I need to like get on that but yeah so again Yosuzume on the organic wool linen fingering base two skeins of this and then I got one more colorway so three different colors in, to in total and then Okay, hey, this is this is the green and I got this on two different bases which is surprising to me but there's something about it that I really like I think maybe it's because there's the orange bits in here that are kind of I mean they're not pink it's orange but you know maybe it helps me kind of like blend those together that it looks I think it looks really cute so this is the colorway Futakuchi Ona I'm probably saying that really horribly so so sorry but yeah this is this colorway and it has a lot of like it's not a solid green like it's has like a lot of lighter greens in there and just like some moments of like darker green kind of, some kind of like blue green and yeah definitely those like golden yellows and orange as well and so I'm curious to see how this looks 
knit it up. And then I also got the same colorway in the trusty sock base here, which I think is the more kind of like traditional base. And the trusty sock base is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon, four ply and 437 yards for 100 grams. And this looks really cute in this base as well. Definitely can see more of the speckling because yeah, speckles on Surrey just kind of blend a lot more. Yeah, so this is Futakuchi Onna. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Yeah, so I am overall really happy with my purchase from from Big Little Yarn Co. And so this has been really exciting and I love the tags. I love the, the labeling on this. It's really cute. And I will definitely be ordering more from her in the future. Speaking of which, she is slowly revealing colorways for her next pre-order, which is the Studio Ghibli like club. Like, so I think, was it maybe two years ago that she had her Studio Ghibli monthly sock club, I think. And so now she's bringing them back for a pre-order. And I love Studio Ghibli movies. And so this is going to be a really difficult collection to plan for because I'm just gonna want it all, especially Sometimes it's just like, even if I don't really care for the color, like if it's a movie from a, or like for a movie that I really like, it's gonna be hard for me to not just get it. So, but there's also some great pinks that she already show, showed on her Instagram. And so that's going to be hard to resist. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of those colors. And also speaking of pre-orders, Woolberry Fiber Co. is having her Caboose collection pre-order soon. And it's been, I think at this point, she has revealed all the colorways. And so now I am in planning mode to figure out which ones I'm going to get. It's gonna be, this one's gonna be a struggle to limit how much I get as well, because I really like a lot of the colorways. There are a lot of pinks in there. So I need to figure out what to do about the pinks. And there's also a lot of like neutral colors that I'm oddly really, really looking forward to and wanting to buy sweater quantities for. So like, actually the one that I'm surprised I like a lot is the Corgi Caboose color. I think that one's really nice. And so I'm just trying to figure out now what, what pattern I'm going to make with it because yeah, I need to make sure that I get, get the right yarn. So anyway, so those are kind of like two pre-orders in the near future that I am needing to plan for and it's pretty exciting. So yeah, and then I do want to end this video with the results of my own yarn dyeing adventure. And so last weekend I dyed three, five mini skeins in like different color dye. So I bought I think I bought like 13, is that right? 13 different colors of yarn dye. And then I also bought like a whole bunch of bear yarn. I bought some bear surrey and bear like sock yarn and then also mini skeins. And so my first kind of like order of business to dye up colors and yarn is to dye one mini skein for every yarn or every dye color that I have so I can just kind of see the different dye colors I have before I start dyeing up like sweater quantities or like full skeins. So I can show you the five mini skeins I dyed last weekend. Here they are. I wish I could like hold them. Maybe if I held them like this. Yay, here they are. I didn't even really plan to have all of the colors kind of look nice together so it was kind of a surprise that these all look really cute next to each other yeah like it looks so like happy and spring kind of colors and so i would call these a success i would say this is a success yeah so i do have i forget the names off the top of my head but Maybe unsurprisingly, there were like two pink colors that I did dye. 
but they are they are a bit different they look more different in person than on camera for some reason but yeah so this one is a pink and then this one is more of a like mauve pink and then I did do a kind of lighter green it's not really I almost want to say lime green but it's not like bright but it's also not like dark it's not like a dark green anyway so that's a green and then I did do a blue as well and then I this almost looks like undyed yarn and I wish I brought with me to show like in what in like this color compared to undyed looks like but it does look slightly different and this one I do remember this yarn dye is called champagne so it's just a bit more kind of yellow and yeah I actually I really like all of these colors so yeah so I think that that was a success and so I do have more this kind of took a while since it was one mini skein at a time and I don't I can't do them like at the same time to like parallelize that process so I just did them one at a time but it was really fun to do and so I am looking forward to doing the rest of the dyes that I have as well I don't think I'll have time this weekend or next weekend because I do have some family over staying with me for the next kind of like couple of weekends and so so yeah no probably not enough time for yarn dyeing but after that we'll get back to yarn dyeing but also that means maybe some more knitting time as well so yeah so that is kind of all of my updates for this past week and I let's see if there's anything else I'm missing I mean I think for the most part I will be just knitting in this next coming week and then also planning for those yarn collections that I mentioned just trying to figure out doing the I pretty much know which yarns I want to get but now I just need to match them with patterns so I know what yarn base and how many that I need to get so yeah so that's going to be interesting and what else I mean yeah I mean as far as like non-knitting things maybe to give an update on for my ice skating stuff like I just got in my figure skating dress and so last year I had a program and I did two competitions and I had a pink dress and it was really cute but this year I have a new program so like a different song so different program elements different jumps different spins and stuff so I wanted to get another dress I think my last year's dress could have also matched the theme which would have been fine but I just felt kind of like it's a new program so a new dress would be fun so I just got that today and it fits really well and looks really great and it was the first time that I got it from someone on Etsy so I was a little nervous on how that was going to work out but it was great so really looking forward to skating in the dress and seeing how that feels so that's yeah so that's exciting as well and I also feel like I'm have I'm getting a new hobby but it is like and I hope that it doesn't really turn into an obsession but I just got my first keyboard that is like not custom keyboard but it is like one where you can it's pretty much just like keycaps buying keycaps that are really cute and putting them on your own keyboard and kind of like choosing switches for it and so I was a bit nervous about kind of building my own keyboard at first and so what I did was I bought a pre-built one just so I could like have something and then maybe switch stuff out in the future on it and I got the Osume Dalgona pre-built keyboard and it's really cute it is like has little pictures of like Dalgona like the coffee and like little kind of bear creatures on some of the keycaps and I think it's really cute it's very like neutral colored keyboard and so I feel like when I want to switch out some of the keycaps in the future that I can do that with some other color and that it'll most likely match since the board is kind of a neutral color so anyway those are like updates on my non-knitting hobbies as well but yeah I mean 
but that I think that's pretty much it for today. I hope that you are having a great day on whichever day you are watching this. It was kind of sunny earlier today here in Seattle and it just I think in the middle of me filming this got a little more cloudy but yeah those kind of sunny days where it's still a little cool has been really nice and I think this coming week is supposed to get a little warmer and more sunny so that should be super fun as well and yeah I will end the video here I hope you get to do lots of knitting and make sure that you stretch out your hands and your wrists and fingers when you can so that you can knit forever and I yeah if you want to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe and if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram username is Ari Knits. It's the same name as this podcast. So follow me over there as well if you want to. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.